The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Nehemiah, chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. Nehemiah had traveled all the way from the king's palace of Persia to the broken down city of Jerusalem. And there, with God's help, he rallied all the Jews living there to begin the epic job of rebuilding that city's walls. Who's with me? I say, let's start rebuilding. At first, the work went well. Each family or group took a different part of the wall to work on. We're making record time. Nehemiah and the people even managed to ignore taunts and threats from neighboring nations who did not want to see that wall rebuilt. Uh, if a fox climbs on that pathetic thing, it'll fall right down. <laughs> the God of heaven will give us success. So it seemed like nothing was going to stop this big project until new trouble showed up. From inside the walls, a group of Jews in ragged cloaks came to look for Nehemiah where he was working on the wall. There's not enough food for everyone. We're, we're being forced to sell our fields and vineyards just to buy grain. There's hardly enough to keep us alive. The king's taxes are high. We have to borrow money, but, but then we can't even pay the high interest. Interest was extra money the people had to pay back. It was so high they could hardly keep any of the money they made. Who's making you do this? Other Jews, our own relatives. We even had to send our children to work for them as slaves. We have nothing left. Please help us. This is not right. It's not right at all. I'll take care of it. <sighs> Nehemiah was so angry that he didn't trust himself to act in the moment. Instead, he thought it over for a time. God, what do I do about this? His own people were mistreating those who had less. Nehemiah took this so seriously, he stopped work on the wall to call together the Jewish nobles and officials. What's this all about? Ah, better be good. Making us lose all this work time. It's not good. It's bad. You're charging your own people interest. It's not like it's that much. I mean, we can't loan money for free, right? Do you have to ask me this? Think about it. Many Jewish people were sold as slaves to other nations, and we had to buy them back and bring them home. Now, you're charging so much interest, they are forced to become slaves again. Oh. No one could argue with Nehemiah. They listened quietly to his next words. What you're doing is not right. We have to show respect for God. Look, I am lending money and grain to the people who need it, and so are my relatives, but we aren't charging any interest. So, what should we do now? If you've taken anything in payment, give it back. Fields, vineyards, olive groves, houses, give it all back. Even the interest that you've charged, do it now. God moved in the hearts of the people because instead of arguing, they agreed. We'll give it back. We won't make them give us anything else. We'll do just as you say. Very good. Nehemiah sent for the priests so that the nobles and officials could make this promise before God. You must keep this promise or God will deal with you. Amen. Amen. Immediately, the officials did as they said. Here are the papers. The vineyard is yours again. Oh, thank you. I've been working years to get it ready for a good harvest. I took too much. This is yours. This means my son can come home now. So once the nobles and officials made everything right, work on the wall began again, faster and stronger than before, now that everyone had what they needed. And Nehemiah continued to show his people how to treat each other, even though King Artaxerxes had appointed him governor. You know, all the other governors made the people pay them silver and give them lots of food and stuff, even land. That's too heavy a load to put on the people. 
Instead, Nehemiah dedicated himself to working on the wall. In fact, he even invited 150 people to eat food at his own table. Throughout his life, he always looked for ways to treat people fairly and make things right. to see what you see you are doing a great work in me i've decided i can stand still no you have given me purpose all my all my heart is yours all my all my life Give 